Well, hello there. Welcome in. Today we're just going to have fun with makeup. I've got some new things I'm excited to try. I have a new five pan palette from Wet n Wild. I'm going to be giving the number seven Lift Illuminate Serum Concealer a try. I have the Tint and Tame Brow Gel from Sigma. And I have a new pink lipstick from Maybelline I'm so excited about. I'm hoping it's going to be that perfect summer pink. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. We're going to hop right into the makeup today, and as always, all the products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below, so it's super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into it. I'm going to start off with my Age Perfect Blurring Face Primer. This is from L'Oreal. I've actually been using this almost exclusively for probably the last two months, and I really, really like it. It's just easy. It does a great job of sort of smoothing out my pores and making my skin look a little bit more flawless. And it's just, you know, it feels good on the skin. It's just one of those products that is reliable and does what it says it's going to do at a great price. For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the Milani. So <laughs> if you're on my email list, you'll know that summer is in full swing for me. I've been hiking and kayaking like a fool. <laughs> Probably need to take a few more days off to rest. If you're not on my email list, you might want to be. I send out a beauty newsletter every week on Sunday mornings, and I kind of highlight all the specials that are out there and all the deals that I know about and anything really good I've found during the week. Plus, I generally slip in something that is personally interesting to me, and right now, that happens to be camping trailers. I can't seem to get out of my mind the whole concept of having something that I can take off in and just be gone for months at a time. Has that ever been a big thing for you? If it has, make sure you comment down below. Or if you've taken a trailer, a camping trailer, out by yourself, I really need to know who you are. <laughs> so comment down below. And if you want to get on my email list, it's absolutely free. It's super fun. I'll have a link down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy it. For my brows, I'm going to fill them in first with the LA Girl Brow Pencil. I don't even know what color this is because it's worn off the package. It's either blonde or taupe. Those are just the two colors that seem to really work for me. I just want to get them filled in a little bit before I use that brow gel because I haven't used it before, so I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Okay, so those are looking pretty good. I'm going to use the Tint and Tame Brow Gel from Sigma now. I'm not sure if this is going to be best used now or at the end of my makeup routine, but we'll give it a little bit of a whirl now. And if I have to go back and touch up at the end, we can do that. So it comes with just a little standard wand. It's kind of like a mascara wand, only the brush part is really, really tiny. So I'm just going to brush that in. Okay, you know, it doesn't look like it has much color. It looks more just like a setting gel. So. I'm not sure if it's going to be best to use it now or not, but I think it'll be fine for now. There we go. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using one of the new Wet n Wild 5 Pan palettes. This is in the colorway Petalette. Isn't that just a pretty pink colorway? I recently tried another colorway in this 5 Pan palette series. This is Walking on Eggshells. If you like just a really pretty neutral palette at a great price, honestly, I think this was three or four dollars. I didn't even really look, but they're so inexpensive. This is a great one. This is called Walking on Eggshells. The one I'm going to use today, this Petalette, I thought it was so pretty because it kind of has that pink mauve colorway. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to take the 202 brush from BK Beauty and dip it into this cream color right here on the end. This has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I just want to put a very light coat all over both lids from top to bottom just to set down a base. Now I'm going to dip my brush into this mauve color right here. I'm going to use that for the transition color. And that's going to start right above my natural crease to kind of define that area right there. It's just a really soft, pretty transition color. Now I'm going to bring that down into the crease a little bit. I just want to deepen up that area there to make it look like my eyes are a little less hooded than they are. 
Now I'm going to take a flat brush and dip it into this plummy purple at the end. It's just such a pretty color. Tap it off to have as little fallout as possible. And that's just going to go right in the outside third of my movable lid and down along the lash line a little bit. And then I'm going to turn my brush and bring that up to the outside corner of my eye and a little bit up towards my eyebrow. So you can see where I have that placed right there. And by bringing that a little bit up towards my eyebrow, I'm sort of creating a lift on that outside corner of my eye. And I'm going to bring that down along my lash line a little bit to kind of act a little like a liner. I am going to go over it with a darker liner when I'm done, but it's nice to have that diffused darker color to make my liner look a little less skippy or bumpy <laughs> or uneven. Now I'm going to take my BK Beauty 201 brush and just smooth out the edges of that darker color. Wow, that is performing so well. It's not patchy at all. It's really blending beautifully. These little palettes are such a bargain. And you know, it's fun because you can get a colorway that maybe you wouldn't wear all the time, but you don't feel bad about it because it's only a few dollars. I'm really smudging that out along the lash line. I'm not sure what I want to put on the lid, whether I want to put this kind of medium tone pink or this light pink. They're both shimmers. Let's see what they look like. So there they are on my finger. Let's look at them on the back of my hand. Oh, wow. Aren't those pretty? They're both really pretty. Gosh, I don't know which one to use. All right, I think I'm gonna go for the lighter one, but we'll use the other one. I think this one right here, I think this one right here would be so pretty for a one and done look, don't you? I'm just gonna take that on my finger and place that on the lid. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Look at that, isn't that just so pretty? These shadows are performing so well. Hardly in a fallout. Actually, I don't think I've had any fallout at all. Before I start in on foundation, I'm gonna use my Pixie Peach Under Eye Brightener. This really helps with the dark circles. I have heard that this sells out a lot. I'm not even sure if it's available right now. One thing I can say is if you do pick one up, they're super inexpensive. I think it's maybe 11 or $12. Last you a long time. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. Why do they come up with such long names for foundations? I don't get it. Anyway, I love this foundation, even though it has a really long name. It, it is an SPF 50. It says hydrating and age defying. I don't know about that. I have it in the color Calico, and this is actually a really good shade match for me. I've had this foundation for a few months now. I really love it. The one standout quality I can say about this foundation is that it looks like skin. It really looks so very pretty on the face. I'm just going to pounce that in with my Sigma sponge that apparently I have a total crush on. Honestly, I don't think I've used another sponge since I got this one, and I have rescued it from the cat a couple of times. <laughs> and fortunately, he didn't wreck it before I found him with it. For some reason, he loves my makeup sponges. I'm not sure why. This blends in just beautifully. It doesn't have much of a glow on the skin. I do like just a little bit of glow with my foundation. This provides barely any kind of glow. It's more of a matte finish, but gosh, it's so very pretty. Drugstore price too, which <laughs> makes it even better. For concealer, I'm also using a product from number seven. This is their Lift Illuminate Serum Concealer. I don't even remember if I've tried this. This is in the color Fair. If I did, it was a while back and I can't really remember how it performed, so we'll give it a whirl today. I do remember a couple of people saying this is a really good one, so we'll see. I'm just gonna start with a little bit underneath each eye. Little touch out on the outside there and start blending it in with my brush. I've really been liking using a brush to kind of spread my concealer out. I guess that feels good. It, it just feels soft and I like that. This is a pretty good color for me in concealer. It's not quite as brightening as I like my concealers, but I can go back and fix that later at the end of my makeup. I'm just gonna press it in with a sponge. I love this little tip for getting in the corner there. Now I'm going to use my Fenty Lavender Powder to set my under eyes. Just a little bit on my brush. and I really just work it in all through the bristles of that brush to really spread it out so it's a very, very thin application. Tap it off and then just press it right underneath. 
For bronzer, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze. I really do love this bronzer. What is the most outstanding thing about this bronzer is the color. It's just so very pretty. So I'm just going to put that right in the areas I want a little bit of contour. This brush is a little tapered brush from e.l.f. I love it to apply bronzer products because it has that little tip on it. And then I can go back and just really blend it in. For blush today, I'm going to use this little blush from Revlon. This is in a line of blushes that I really do like. This is in Ravishing Rose. Another color in this line that I love is called Apricot. Both of these are really, really pretty. Get a little bit on my brush. These are very pigmented, so watch out if you end up using one. And I'm just going to tap a little bit right in the upstairs area of my cheeks. So very, very pink. Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and blend that in. For highlight, I'm going to be using another product from Revlon. This is their Skin Lights Highlighter. These are really, really pretty. This is in the color Daybreak Glimmer. I've actually used this quite a bit on my channel. You might have seen it. It's just the prettiest gold shimmer. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I get a little bit on my brush and then just hit the tops of my cheeks. Can you see that? Am I getting glowy? <laughs> Back in with my big fluffy brush and blend that in. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to grab my Sigma Essentials palette and tap into this color Snow right here. And I'm going to run that right underneath my brow on both sides just to add a little bit of lift and highlight to that area. And then I'm going to run it right on the inside of my eye to kind of open up that sort of shadowy cast I get because my eyelids are a little bit looser than they used to be. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the L'Oreal. This is their Lay Liner. You can find these in the drugstore easier if you're looking for it by looking for the gold cap on it. I know L'Oreal has so many pencil liners that sometimes it's confusing to find the right one. I just look for the gold cap. This is in the color Noir Cashmere, and I'm going to run this right along my lash line and up a little bit just for a tiny little wing. I'm going to take a little angled brush and just smudge that line out so I don't have to worry about it looking a little bit uneven because my eyelids are not smooth. <laughs> and once I get out to the corner where that little wing is, I just flick it up. Same thing on the other eye. I'm just going to smudge that line out. And having placed that darker shadow along the lash line, it helps it look a lot more smooth and blend it in. Now I'm going to curl my lashes tight line, use the L'Oreal Voluminous Base as a primer, and then use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, and I'll be right back. To finish off the complexion, I'm going to use the Milani Prep Set and Glow. Big fluffy brush, I just swirl it around, tap it off, and then I just pounce that all over my face. I have a new lipstick from Maybelline and I just looked at it and I realized I think I might already own this. This is so funny. I've been looking for the perfect summer pink and I think I bought this but I don't have it anymore because I have been looking through my pink lipsticks trying to find this certain color of pink. I think this might be it. I haven't tried it on my lips so I don't know yet. This is called Pink Pose. It's from Maybelline. And it's number 233. I'm going to pair it with the NYX Lip Liner in Milan. I think that might be a pretty combination. So you can see them right there. <laughs> if I find this after I try it on, I'm just going to think I'm nuts. <laughs> but there we have it. Now that is a gorgeous pink. I was looking for something that was pink but not bright pink, but not muted pink, but pigmented and just the right kind of rosy tone. I'm thinking I'm liking that a lot. Here we have the finished look. 
I think the real hit of this makeup look is this little palette from Wet n Wild. These little five pan palettes are such gems. This is the only second one in this line that I've tried, but I really, really like both of them. The only color that I felt like just wasn't quite up to snuff is this cream right on the end. But you know what? I think it's more of a shadow topper than anything. It really has more of that sparkly finish without much base pigment to it. Every other color in here was really beautiful. Of course, I didn't try this one on my eyes this time, but I think this would be a beautiful one and done eyeshadow look. These little palettes are three or four dollars. They're very affordable. I think there's six or seven different colorways in the line. If you like Wet n Wild, this is just a great little line of shadows. The Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel, you know, for me it was just sort of okay. I can't say that it did anything wonderfully wow for my brows. And as a matter of fact, my little $2 e.l.f. brow setter, this is another gel, is probably in my mind a better value. But if you love Sigma, they do have this Tint and Tame Brow Gel. The number seven Lift and Illuminate Serum Concealer. You know, it looks nice. I can't say it blew my socks off or it's just wow or anything. It's just okay. It's kind of one of those concealers that's sort of a mid-range concealer. It does its job. It might look a little cakey or a little patchy after a few hours. Nothing that really makes me feel like it's a big, big winner. However, it is from number seven. I love the foundation and skincare products from number seven. So it was fun to try it. This little line of Luscious from Revlon, I just love them. I have two or three colors. I think they're just wonderful. And the Pink Pose Lipstick, I'm loving it, but I also think I already own it. I just don't know where my other tube is because I would have found it by now because this is pretty much exactly the color I've been looking for. I think it's just a beautiful summer pink color, and I like the fact that it's pigmented like it's a lipstick. It really sticks to your lips and lays down a lot of color but it doesn't feel dry. It actually feels very hydrating. I think it's a great warm weather pink. Well, that was a lot of fun to put this look together. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.